Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Everyone has been asking me to do another one. So what we're gonna do is paint. We're gonna learn a lot of ways to paint a drawing with the base color we did on the other tutorial. Uh, so here we are, we have all the things we did last time and you can see it with the eye, popping the eye on and off. Um, so we're, we're not gonna need all of them, so let's choose this blue one and delete the other ones. So you wanna click and shift and click again to choose all of them and drag them to the trash. So now we have both layers, the sketch and the paint base um, color. And what you wanna do is click this. It means that the transparent pixels are locked and now we're gonna choose the paint brush with a brush with size linked to pressure. Choose a color, a skin color and now we're gonna paint on this layer we chose and we're painting okay so you can see that the color won't leave the painted selection and we're gonna outline the where the skin color would be really fast okay and it's really cool because you can mess up and it doesn't matter because it won't leave that place so we're gonna choose the wand tool expand it a little bit and with the brush, well, we can choose the brush and paint with the brush really fast the rest. And you can deselect with Ctrl D or Command D on a Mac. And now it's done. Everything is one in one layer. Let's put blue hair. You can do it with the brush, but since we did such a good job with the other one, we're going to choose the wand tool and pick the hair on this layer. You can see that the hair is the only thing selected because it's a different color. So with the bucket tool, we're going to paint. And that's the fastest way, even faster than the paintbrush. So now we have all of this on this layer and we're going to choose the hair again. And what we're gonna do is really cool. We're gonna grab the gradient tool, choose a color, um, maybe pink, and you can use the original gradient that is flat. And you can see that the color merges with the blue, and it's really cool. It goes from a gradient, but we're gonna do it another way. We're gonna choose the circular gradient, and we're gonna do a few changes here and there okay this is too big uh, a little smaller okay so we have um like a graded hair <laughs> with pink details and i really love this um we're gonna grab the wand tool and make sure the uh, thingy up here is clicked so we can select a lot of things at the same time and we're gonna give a gradient also to the skin color so it looks cool maybe a purple okay so with the circular gradient we're gonna give a little purple here and there since i messed up here we're gonna choose alt to choose the color and with the brush tool we can paint the messed up things so you can see that when i hide the lines everything has like their own place every color is in their own place and it's locked with this symbol Let's create another layer and we're gonna do the shading. So let's put it to multiply mode and pick a color um, like blue, light blue. With the brush tool, we're gonna choose a brush with size and opacity linked to pen pressure. You can make sure that's turned on here when tra transference okay paint pressure paint pressure uh, okay and we're gonna paint the shadows 
really fast. I really like this uh, painting method. You can also do like uh, really hard shadows and not choose the the opacity linked to the band pressure. Uh, so it looks more like anime or kind of the, that kind of stuff if you like that. But I really like to paint my by myself. So I do this um, more transparent look with the colors. So I wish um, maybe you could learn how to paint really fast so you can keep up keep up with me but okay we're painting we're gonna I'm painting with this really fast and the point of this tutorial is to find a way to paint everything um, fast and not waste any time like the other tutorials so you can make art faster and faster every time Okay, we're done. So now we have the base colors and the shadows and we're gonna give a little white on her eyes and give her blue eyes. This looks really cute. So th these are the shadows on their own uh, without the base colors. Um, but we're gonna try to do another type of coloring this this is not the only way you can do this and this is not the one i would recommend so we're gonna do the best one i i like this one better so let's start again let's paint this again let's forget this ever existed <laughs> and okay okay it, we're we're starting again so let's create a new layer and once it is created, give it a right click and create clipping mask. And you can see it creates this little arrow at the end of the mask. So what we're gonna do is try to paint and you can see that the lines won't come out of this selection we did at the first. To watch this you can right click again and release the clipping mask. And you can see that the lines are outside, so let's put it on the clipping mask again. So now that we have a clipping mask, uh, let's go back, yes. And let's select the lasso tool and draw this where the skin would be. Let's, draw. okay, let's fix this. And with the bucket tool, you can go and select the skin color and paint. And you can see it is inside of the drawing with it. You can also use the brush tool and paint. It doesn't matter what tool you use. Um, but the, the point is that the color won't leave the space you painted before. So if you release the clipping mask, you can see it's a mess. But let's put it back. Okay. So on a new layer, we're gonna do the hair, uh, create a clipping mask again, select the lasso tool and select around the hair. And with the paint bucket, we're gonna paint again the blue. Oh, oh I messed up. The selection, I mean, the mask has to be behind the, <laughs> the skin color. Okay, now it's okay. Um, so you can see we did that really fast and we didn't waste any time. So now we're gonna do the gradient again with the pink and I love this. I love how, how it looks. Uh, so you can see that we did this really fast and we're gonna create a new clipping mask for the shadows. You can see that dragging and put it in between other clipping mask, it creates a new clipping mask. So let's multiply this shadow layer and with the brush tool we're gonna paint again the brush. Okay. Okay, this is too strong. Okay. A light blue would be okay. And we're gonna paint again the shadows really fast. I just love giving this dark 
color um, behind the hair <laughs> like you know it's behind her neck okay so you can see that the shadows are also inside of the colors we chose and it's really cool because we won't leave them okay now let's give it oh the white of the eyes I forgot and the blue eyes again and I really like this method because everything is in its own layer and if you have to change anything um, like really fast you can go to the layer and change it and instead of the first uh, time we did this where everything was in one layer and maybe you'll have problems later changing a color so let's select everything again with shift and click and we can delete with the delete key on the keyboard which is cool and faster also so we're gonna pick the one tool for this next type of coloring and choose all of the color and we're gonna click on this thingy up down here that means it creates a mask let's create a new layer and you can see that dragging the mask it uh, goes to the next layer and the first one loses it so Inside of this layer you can use the brush tool to test it and you can see it won't leave the edges like before But this is a new way to do it. Okay, so what we're gonna do. Okay, let's try testing it a little more Okay, so now we're sure it's the same drawing, right? <laughs> let's pick the lasso tool with the skin color and really fast like outline everything that has skin color on this drawing and oh i messed up here so this thing up here is to deselect things so we deselected the year that was wrong and with the bucket we're gonna paint and the skin color and deselect so with shift and click you can um, hide the mask and unhide it but let's leave it like this let's create a new layer and you can see I can drag the selection to the other side and it's a mess so let's leave the selection again and with the older selection let's use the one tool and select everything again and click the selection the mask to I mean and you can see we have a new layer with the same selection let's call this skin and let's call this hair and with the lasso tool we can pick really fast the hair and paint with the bucket and everything is inside where it's supposed to be so let's do the gradient again which I'm not sure if you like this gradient thing, but I, I'm super excited about doing like um, different color hair, <laughs> so that's why I do it so much. And I would love uh, to see your results too. So this time we're not gonna do the shading, I think everyone got it pretty clear, we've done it twice already. And I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot. I'm gonna do a tutorial next time but this is the, like the finished drawing I ended up it doing and it will come out next Friday on a pink painting video I hope you see it so please subscribe like this video and also follow me on my social medias you know I have a lot of things you don't see here a lot of drawings a lot of sketches so I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time bye